Firstly, I'm going to show you how to do a pre-use check on a servo eye. 90% of the time, the servo eye will be in standby, and um, you can just proceed to the pre-use check. Down here, we have a pre-use check button. We can press that, and it says, do you want to start the pre-use check? Say yes. And it's just a matter of following the prompts on the screen. You will need to use this, which is the test tube, the same one as we used on the servo U. It's asking me to connect the test tube between the inspiratory port here and the expiratory port here. When I've done that, I can say OK on screen. You can see as it's doing its test, it has a green path to connect to them. Okay, now it's asking me to unplug the power cord. And then it will ask me to reinsert the power cord. Now it's asking us to connect our patient circuit. So we remove our test tube. And currently we're just using basic adult breathing circuits. So I connect that to my ventilator, inspiratory, expiratory and I say OK. And now it's just checking the compliance and resistance of the circuit. OK, it's asked me to unblock the wire piece. So I say OK. And then it's asking me, do I want to compensate some compressible volume for the new circuit, a new patient, so I say yes. And now all of the checks are passed, and I can say OK to return to standby. Now it's asking me, do I want to delete the patient data trends in event log, new patient, so I'm going to say yes. And it brings me to my standby screen, so I can start ventilating. If you change the circuit on the patient after seven days, whenever, you can just perform the patient circuit test if you haven't changed the expiratory cassette just by hitting the patient circuit test button here. And as I said, nine times out of ten this ventilator is left in standby. However, on occasion you might come to the ventilator and it actually has been turned off at the back, um, so a hard turn off. just want to show you where the switch is for that, just in case that happens. I turn the ventilator around at the back under this flap is an on off switch so if you come to the ventilator and you can't turn it on it's not in standby just check that this switch is actually in the on position i just turned it on there if you have to do a hard start up then you will have to repeat the pre-use check just to check the ventilator when it's done itself check It will ask, do you want to start the pre-use check? And then you'd have to say yes and go through the cycle again.